What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to apply to Brinks and other armored vehicle companies here in Canada. Let's get straight into this. So this video was actually requested to me by another viewer that watches some of my other career journey videos where I talk about how to apply to CBSA corrections and different things like that. It also includes some practice tests. You guys can find that, any of those videos, in a playlist on my channel called My Career Journey, where I literally talk about everything, even my progress of what I am planning on doing next for my career and further my education in some way, shape, and form to have a better and more successful career. I share all of that with you guys in that playlist and on my channel as well. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, I am Canadian, so this not only has to do with Branks, but other armored guard positions here in Canada, armored vehicle positions here in Canada. But if you're watching from another country, they can also apply to you as well. It's just do some research first because some of the things like the licensing might be different in your country or the names of it might be different. So keep that in mind as well. So now the first requirement when applying to Brinks is to have your valid G license. That is basically your full license, not your G1, not your G2, your full G license. And how the licensing works here in Canada whenever you're getting your driver's license is to basically, whenever you turn 16, you can go and write your G1 test that is a written test that will give you your G1 license. A year later, you can go and take a road test that is for your G2 license. And a year later, you can go and take your G road test that is for your G license. That is your full license. The difference between the G2 road test and the G road test is the G road test includes highway driving. So keep that in mind. You have to have your full license when applying to Brinks. The next requirement has to do with your previous driving record, and that is to have a clean driver's abstract. Different companies here in Canada, especially law enforcement, or even companies that you're gonna be driving a company vehicle, they can require you to have and submit to them whenever you're applying either a three or five year clean driver's abstract. And what your driver's abstract is, is it looks back at the previous three or five years and it will let them know of any uh, tickets, any speeding tickets, any infractions. I'm not 100% sure on accidents. I think if you're found at fault, uh, it's gonna show it. But if you're not at fault, I don't think it shows it. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure if accidents are on there uh, or anything regarding that. So all of that information they are going to see. And whenever it comes to breaks or things like that, they want it clean, they want it spotless, they want nothing. So not only do you have to have your full driver's license, but you do have to have a clean driver's abstract as well to apply to Brinks. The next requirement is to have both your restricted and your unrestricted firearms license. Now, how to obtain that here in Canada, I've talked about this also on the channel before if you wanna check out those videos or even do and uh, check out some practice tests. I have them on the channel as well under the career journey playlist. But basically how to do that here in Canada is to successfully pass a safety course for both restricted and unrestricted. And with that, you also have to do for both of them a written test and pass that for each of them and also do a practical, which is where you're gonna be handling guns safely. So you have to do not only a written test for each unrestricted and restricted, but also pass the practical for both unrestricted and restricted. Of course, whenever you're applying for your firearms license, they are going to do a, a background check on you. And after that, if you're eligible and you're able to, and you did pass both unrestricted and restricted firearm safety course, you're going to get the unrestricted and restricted firearms license here in Canada, which is your possession and accusation license. Now, if you are watching this from another country and you're wishing to apply to an armored vehicle company as a guard, it might be a different license in your country. Just remember that it is basically your firearms license that you need to have. The last requirement is to successfully complete an in-depth background check. This is something that the company will do themselves. You have nothing to do for it, and they will find everything that they need to about you, every single thing. They may even call friends, family, and neighbors, so keep that in mind, but they're going to do a really in-depth 
background check on you. It's like this for anything. Corrections, CBSA, any law enforcement, they're going to do a top security background check on you because in a lot of these positions, you are going to need a top security clearance and that is exactly how you get it. So these are all of the requirements to apply to Brinks as one of their armed guards for their armored vehicles. Now this can also apply to other companies as well and other countries, not just here in Canada, but you are gonna to wanna to check to see what the requirements are for you to apply in your country or to other companies as well. All these requirements can be found on Brinks' website. If you go and you look to see what other requirements there are, Usually everything else is only considered an asset and that includes things like experience in law enforcement or even another armed guard position. If you have experience, that is a huge asset. But if you're new and you're starting a new career and you're applying to Brinks, just remember that it's not a requirement. It's only an asset to have previous experience, which is good. Everything that I talked about in this video is a requirement. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys now know what it takes to apply and what you need to apply to Brinks. It's easier in my opinion to get everything that I just talked about and make sure you have everything before even applying to Brinks. That way you're not even wasting your time. You're getting everything done and you have everything that is a requirement before you apply. That is way better in my opinion. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave this here. Please take care, peace.